Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be creating an Omega 4 sub theme without using Drush. Now, I've stated a couple times that I think the recommended version is using Drush and, and getting that to work. However, if you just can't manage, uh, that's no big deal. We can still create our theme and we can still use Omega without it. So, how do we do this? Well, just like before, in Omega, we have another folder uh, called Omega. And this is the, we also have Ohm here, which is a already created sub theme that you can go through. But if you scroll down, you're going to see a starter kit folder. And inside of that starter kit folder is a defaults folder. Now, what we wanna do is create a copy of this and move this into our sites all themes like so. And now we don't want to move it entirely in case you ever want to start over and use this starter kit again. You can see I just made a copy of it. Uh, however, now that we have our new sub theme here, we can just give it a name. So we can just call this without drush. Okay, just so it's nice and clear that this one was made without drush. And now this themes title is going to be without drush. So before, in older versions of Omega or other themes, you have to do things like any time you see the, the theme's name, you're going to have to change it to the actual theme's name. And since we're using without drush as our theme's name, I'm just going to copy that. You can verify that within this level up Omega theme that I created for us. See, we have a level up Omega.info file. So we can come back here to our without drush, and let's click on this. Now, if you were to compare these two, you'll see they're going to be a little bit different. So let's open this up. Um, it's a command for opening a new window. Okay, there we go. And let's open this up. This is the level up Omega theme. And this is the without drush. So sorry if this is um, too small here. Looking at this in Finder is never very much fun. Uh, but you can see that we have things like this all level up Omega info. But here we have this default.starterkit.inc. Let's take a look at both of these files. I'm gonna put both of them into Sublime Text and we can see what the difference is. So you can see this is the levelupomega.info file and this is the default.starterkit.inc. So we want the name of our theme to be the name of our theme. And this will just be without Omega or without drush and uh, we don't have to have a description we can just say this was made without drush uh, but of course any good theme you're gonna want a nice description probably a screenshot of the finished product what the theme looks like and then of course we don't need to change the engine or the core however we do see this theme sanitized dot normalize dot CSS um, and that stuff here. Uh, and then our version for our level up theme, it says level up um, with our theme's name. So using Sublime Text, I'm going to go ahead and change everything with these brackets here to be our without underscore drush theme. So now the theme's gonna be looking in our CSS for a file named without underscore drush dot normalize dot CSS. Of course, that doesn't exist right now, and we're going to have to modify the file that exists. Again, with this JS, we're just gonna change it to without drush dot behaviors. Now, we don't need to modify our regions, that's all good. Now, the only thing we need to add here is our base theme. So this one says base theme omega, and that's just added directly after the description. And of course, I don't think the order for that really matters, but you might as well do it how they've done it. Now, to prove to you that these are the exact same, we can get rid of these headers and this white space, and you're gonna see that both of these are 19 lines long and pretty much the exact same file, despite we created one by hand and the other was created by uh, Drush. I'm gonna add these back in here just to have them, and we can save this file. Now, I'm actually gonna to wanna to rename this file. So uh, let's get out of Sublime Text, go back to Finder, and we're gonna to wanna to call this, uh, not that, I'm sorry, we're gonna to wanna to call this withoutdrush.info, and this is our themes info file, just like we're used to having um, with any other sub theme. So we have level up.info, withoutdrush.info. 
Cool. So now what else do we have to do to get this, this whole thing working? Well, if you recall in our, our level up, our without drush info, we said that we're looking for CSS without drush, dot normalize. Well, now we need to make those happen like that. So in here, we could just come into these files and of course you could run a command uh, to modify all these files names. Um, you could say look through all these directories and replace theme sanitized with your themes name. But since we're not doing this with command line at all, I'm just going to go ahead and do this the way we need to do it here. Now we also need to change our behaviors.js file because it was looking for theme sanitized there. And then in addition, we have some of our SAS files, which are actually the source files for the CSS files we previously changed. And if we change these, um, they would compile to the correct ones, but then we would have a duplicate with the theme sanitized version. So it's, you know, like I said, installing this with Drush is probably the best way. Without Drush, you know, make it a little tedious. There we go. Cool. Without Drush, we're all good. So now let's check our site out. Now we're just going to go to performance, clear all of our cache, refresh our appearance page, scroll down, and we should see our theme under these disable themes. If we enable it and set to default, uh, let's come out of here. And you can see we're getting the white screen of death. Now I've gone and checked out the error log for my PHP error log. And it's telling me that there's an unexpected bracket on Scott's sites, level up Drupal sites, all themes uh, without drush process page process ink. So if we go to process and then page process ink, you can see that we're having a function here and it says theme. Now we want this to say without drush. Now there's other instances of this happening as well. We have it in the theme settings file as well. You want to make sure function without drush and then uh, where it said theme before. Um, also in page pre-process, there's going to be function theme here, like this, and we can replace that and save. Now let's check. We refresh our page and it looks like the same thing that we saw when we installed the sub theme with Drush. So like I said, installing with Drush is definitely the easier way. You don't have to go fishing through files and stuff like that. You don't have to go changing file names. Uh, so do Drush if you can. If you can't, you have an out. You can do it this way. It works, and we have a working sub-theme. So we're going to continue this series using the sub-theme we created with Drush. However, you can, of course, continue to use our without Drush sub-theme as well. So I'm going to set this one as default in preparation for the next video, and I'm going to disable the without drush theme. So this series, we're going to go over all of the files that come with this new drush theme and what they mean and why they're there. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. We're on Facebook. We're all over the place. So let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Bye.